Kelly Criterion. Optimal investment in bet sizing. I want my chips with a dip, that's all I know. Young Stunner with one of my favorite mathematical concepts and soon to be one of yours. It guides gamblers and investors alike and it's called the Kelly Criterion. But there's one condition, you gotta have a profitable opportunity. So what is a profitable opportunity? An opportunity is considered profitable if its expected value, EV, is above zero. To calculate this, you're going to take your win probability multiplied by your net gain per win and then subtract your loss probability multiplied by your net loss per loss. Here's an example. Take a regular coin and flip it. Flip heads, you win $2. Flip tails, you lose $1. The expected value in this scenario is 0.5 or 50% times you hit heads multiplied by the amount you win when you hit heads, which is $2. You then subtract the percentage chance that you're going to lose, which is the 0.5 or 50% chance you hit tails, and multiply that by the amount that you're going to lose when that occurs, which in this scenario is 1. This equates to 0.5 or 50%. This means that every time you bet $1, you're expecting to get $1.50 in return over the long run. This is a pretty profitable opportunity, but most people lose their money in this scenario. Why? Well, most people wager too much of their available money per bet. When investing and wagering, there's four different outcomes that can occur when you have a profitable opportunity. The first scenario is that despite having a profitable situation, you lose money long term, and this occurs when you bet a too high of a percentage of your bankroll. The second possibility is that you break even. For an even money bet, if you double the Kelly Criterion percentage that's suggested, you will actually break even over time instead of growing or going bankrupt. The third scenario, you win money at your maximum growth rate. This is what occurs when you bet exactly the Kelly Criterion suggested percentage of your bankroll for each and every bet. And the fourth possibility, you win money at less than the maximum growth rate, and this occurs when you bet less than the percentage Kelly Criterion suggests. Here's a graph showing you those four different scenarios. The first scenario where you go bankrupt is the red line. This is what happens when you bet too high of a percentage of your bankroll in relation to the Kelly Criterion suggested amount. The second scenario is the dotted line. This is where you break even, and this will be a situation that is double the suggested Kelly Criterion percentage, but only for even money bets. It'll adjust a bit on bets that do not fall under that category. The third possibility is the green line here at the top. This is what occurs when you bet precisely the Kelly Criterion suggested percentage on each and every bet with absolute discipline being sure to adjust depending on how your bankroll grows and shrinks. The fourth possibility. You're going to grow, but not at your maximum growth rate. This is what occurs when you play it conservatively and you bet below the Kelly Criterion suggested percentage of your bankroll. Let's break down the Kelly Criterion formula, but first we'll start with the variables involved. K is going to equal the optimal percentage of your bankroll per wager that will enable you to ride your maximum growth curve. We like this. B is going to be your net odds. When you win exactly what your wager is, this is going to be 1. Okay? P, your probability of winning. And Q, your probability of losing, which is the same thing as P minus 1. So here it is, the Kelly Criterion formula. K equals BP minus Q all over B. And let's do it again. K is your optimal percentage of the bankroll to wager per bet to ride your maximum growth curve. B is your net odds. P is your probability of winning. And Q is your probability of losing. Let's take a look at a coin flip example. The same one we had earlier. If it lands on heads, you win $2 on top of your original $1 bet. If it lands tails, you lose your $1 bet. Your net odds here are 2 to 1. So when we go ahead and plug in B, 
we'll be plugging in the number two. With a bankroll of $100, how much of that $100 should we bet on the first bet to ride the maximum growth curve in this scenario? Let's plug in the numbers. Our payout is going to be 2 to 1, so we insert 2. Then we have a 0.5% chance that we'll win. So we multiply 2 times 0.5. And then we subtract the probability of us losing, which is 0.5. And once we get that number, we take it and we divide it by our payout. In this scenario, after plugging and chugging, we end up with 0.25 or 25% of our bankroll, which is $25. But this is for our very first bet only. You need to adjust as your bankroll shrinks or grows. Kelly Criterion provides the optimal percentage. The dollar value per wager changes as your bankroll grows and shrinks though. So if we win the first flip, we take the same percentage of our now increased bankroll, which is going to equate to a higher dollar value wager than our first bet. If we lose, however, then we're going to take the same percentage of our now decreased bankroll, which equates to a lower dollar value wager than our first bet. Let's take it a different coin example. Let's take a look at a different coin example. We have a loaded coin here and it's going to be rigged to land heads 51% of the time. Heads, we win exactly what we wagered. Tails, we lose our entire wager. So compared to the previous scenario, which was a 2 to 1 net odds, now we just have 1 to 1 odds. So when we're plugging in B, we're going to use the number 1. What percentage of our bankroll should be bet per wager to ride the maximum growth curve in a varied bankruptcy? Well, after a little plugging and chugging, we go ahead and take our new B, which is 1, and we plug it in at the top and the bottom of the equation. And now we have odds of winning at 51%, so we plug in 0 0.51, and our odds of losing are 49%, so we go ahead and subtract 0 0.49. This equates to 0 0.02, or 2% 2 of our bankroll per bet on this loaded coin situation. Now we're going to learn a little bit about why the casino ends up like <laughs> when you sit down at the blackjack table. So the previous loaded coin scenario actually applies directly to the casino perspective. The casino has a 51% advantage. I'm sure you've heard this a lot. That means the casino needs to have cash on hand equal to at least 50 times the maximum wager that they allow each table to remain profitable. And believe me, they do, if not more so. Another way to think of this is that no individual wager on their blackjack tables should equate to more than 2% of their vault. So, if their cash on hand is exactly 50 times their maximum wager allowed and a player's wagers the maximum, the casino is riding its maximum growth curve profitably. If their cash on hand is greater than 50 times the maximum wager allowed at their blackjack tables, they're still profitable, but not maximally. If their cash on hand is less than 50 times the maximum wager allowed at their blackjack tables, they're putting themselves at risk. So how does this apply to pension program and stock investment? Well, let's assume that the pension program or stock investment will yield you 20% growth but the company or stock has a 5% chance of tanking and going bust. What percentage of your available cash should you invest? Here's your answer. We've got a 95% chance of this working out and achieving a 20% growth. So we multiply 0 0.95 by 0 0.2, our growth, and then we subtract the possibility of losing, which is 0 0.05, and then divide the entire thing by our odds. So, when we plug and chug, we end up with 0 
or 70% of available cash. So consider this when a company advises you to put all of your money into their pension or stock program, or if you're out there thinking about considering putting all your money into one stock. Applying Kelly Criterion to gambling. First, and I can't stress this enough, ensure that you have an edge. If there's no positive EV, then you shouldn't be betting anything at all. Second, calculate your optimal percentage to bet per wager using your Kelly Criterion. Make sure you know it already in advance. Third, make sure that your bankroll can support that optimal percentage bet. Sometimes there are limitations on the bet amount that can drastically, drastically decrease your chances of coming away profitable. And number four, stay disciplined. You gotta have control of your emotions and you have to be methodical, almost surgical, in order to achieve your maximum growth curve. Any deviation from that is gonna put you in a situation where you're at risk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to choke slam that like button and stone cold that subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, go ahead and find me on your twitch.tv backslash Stunna, on Instagram at Adidas Gangsta, or on Twitter at Stunna underscore Yun. Thanks for taking a look and happy investing in gambling.